Hello everyone from beautiful Lake Michigan in Indiana. Today I want to share a few tips and things that we should do and we shouldn't do when we use a tripod. I'm going to tell you a little story to help me illustrate the points that I want to make in this video. Back in Washington a few months ago at Mount St. Helens I was at a viewpoint trying to make an image and a lady came with a huge tripod and she uh, put it down uh, pretty much in the first spot that she could find and then she spent literally the next 20 minutes just moving the ball head of the tripod looking for compositions from that spot she uh, finally turned around 180 degrees and started photographing the mountains that were be, uh, behind the, the viewpoint I have to give it to her she did that not many people do that most of the people just focus on the view that they have in front but she made two terrible mistakes using her tripod the first one is that she put it down almost immediately I would advise you to keep your tripod in your bag as long as you can and only take it out of here when you actually need it. There are actually very few situations where we must use a tripod. To make long exposures, we need a tripod for that. Or if your camera is big and heavy like my Bronica, or if you're using a big lens. But even then, we should only take it out of the bag when we have a, an idea about the composition that we are trying to make. Let's imagine this is a good spot, something caught my eye here and I want to photograph it. Hand holding the camera, I'm gonna try to find the right composition, the right framing for that subject. This depends on what we are photographing, of course, but we shouldn't stay just limited to eye level uh, point. We should try high angles, we should try low angles, we should move to the left, to the right, forward, back up, go around the subject if we can. Maybe, maybe it's a mountain really far away, but you get the point. We should try and look for uh, all kinds of compositions and see the one that we like the most. Only then, when we find a composition that we like, we can put the tripod down and then do the minor adjustments from there. The second mistake that she made is that she didn't move the tripod for more than 45 minutes. Not only the spot, but she didn't change the height. And most people do that. Most people just get to a spot or find a spot and they just extend the tripod all the way and take the photos always from the same height. Not all the photos require the same height. Some compositions are better when we are lower and closer to the ground and some compositions are better the higher we are. I'm gonna try to recreate what I just said. Let's imagine once again that there is something here that I want a photograph first of all I need to be sure what I'm trying to photograph am I trying to photograph the mountain in the background maybe this uh, closer mountain to here I'm trying to photograph a closer object with the mountain in the background once that's clear and we know what we are trying to do then I start looking for a, a good framing for that uh, composition I start that's fine starting at eye level then I move a little bit lower a little bit higher I move a little bit to the left these little movements might seem like they don't do much that can make a huge difference try moving around try and move forward try moving uh, uh, back and try going around your subject if you can just imagine that we found our spot and it's right here uh, more or less the camera at this height so now and only now is when we take our bag we take our tripod set it up and put it down here and once again we do not want to extend the tripod all the way all the time we need to adjust to the composition that we have in front of us in this case it wasn't my eye level it was a little bit lower so i'm gonna set the tripod here i'm gonna raise it a little bit well hopefully you can see it but i'm using just two sections of the legs i have an extra one here i'm not gonna use it now because this composition doesn't require and now is when we set the camera here once the camera is here it's time to make the minor adjustments ideally of course if we see that the composition doesn't really work then we can just move on and move the tripod somewhere else Talking about moving the tripod somewhere else, I make this mistake many times, like almost most of the time, but if I'm using it for long exposures, I have everything here already set up. I have my, my filter holder, all the filter, the cable remote is already hanging from here. So what I do is I just get the tripod and keep moving like this. This is a mistake, in my opinion. I'm usually very lazy about putting everything back in the backpack. Just do what I say, don't do what I do. I make many of the mistakes that I like to call out. These videos are, in a sense, a good reminder to myself about what I should be doing. Having the tripod already set up like this is uh, setting up the next frame because it's very unlikely that we are going to change a lot of things from here, but maybe the composition uh, requires it. That could be a, uh, a trap that we don't want to fall into. That's why I recommend to put everything back in the backpack when you are ready with uh, your shot. Of course, I'm talking about the tripod only. Your camera should be in your hands all the time so you are ready to go 
any time that you see uh, an image. And that's pretty much all I had to say about tripods. Remember that they are tools to help you make the image that you have in mind, but that image has to be there first. It has to be here first, and the tripod comes a second. Remember to adjust the height of your tripod according to the composition. Don't use the same height all the time. And if you don't have a tripod, just know that you don't need it at all, unless you want to make long exposures. In that case, yeah, it is uh, advised to get one. I hope this video was helpful. Please feel free to share your own tips and tricks uh, about using tripods in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.